I think the centrality of certain doctrines compared to others will be evident in a couple of ways. One will be by the emphasis placed upon them in the biblical text. For example, the existence of God is just everywhere presupposed and affirmed throughout the Bible. This could hardly be a peripheral doctrine. By contrast, the doctrine of baptism is rarely spoken of in the biblical text. But in addition to that, it's not just the number of times that it's mentioned, but it is how um, deeply ingrained it is in the structure of one's beliefs. If a belief, if abandoned, would greatly affect the Christian faith, then you know that you're dealing with a doctrine that is right at the core of our web of beliefs. For example, if you were to deny the atoning death of Christ, it's hard to see how anything could survive of Christianity. What would be left if it were not true that Christ died for our sins? Uh, by contrast, if you deny that in the Lord's Supper we actually consume the body and blood of the Lord, I don't think that would have much impact at all upon the Christian religion. So whether a doctrine is central to the core of beliefs will be obvious, I think, by the kind of reverberations it, it would make if it were denied, and on the other hand, by the implications that it has by being affirmed.